welcome back to the channel people i feel like shit but i'm gonna put this video out there because i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna push through power on with this so this video whatever for anybody who's new to the channel i made a video about mm, four videos back if you go through my catalog i'll put a link in the description to it i bought this green ranger figure and he is pretty much three different shades of green his torso is different, his helmet's different, his arms and legs are different. Any way you look at it, contacted Hasbro about it. So Hasbro had me jump through hoops trying to find all these different PR codes, data codes, reference numbers, and stuff like that that apparently come on all these action figures. I don't know all these things, so it took an extensive amount of time, a couple days for me actually to get back to them with all the information they needed. And one of the things I had to have as well was a receipt. So I go to GameStop and I simply say, hey man, could you pull up the receipt? of the Green Ranger, I have to send Hasbro an email. This man, looking at me in the face, goes, no. I thought he was joking. I'm like, okay, let me get a copy of the receipt. Can you print it out? And literally he said, no. He was serious about saying no. So I was like, can I get a picture off the monitor? No. Any which way you look at it, it was a big ordeal, but I got it. So Hasbro said that they were gonna send me the same figure or a figure of equal value. I doubt I'm going to get a Green Ranger that has all the same greens. I'm pretty sure they're all like this. So what's in the box, Jack? Let's find out. I really am excited for this. I hope it's not going to be... I hope this is actually going to be a cool enough surprise to actually become a whole video, not just a short maybe. I don't know, though. I don't know. Surprise, surprise. Could be Rita. That'd be cool. I can tell it's a big box. It's not shaking around, so it's definitely not a single-carded figure. It's definitely going to be some sort of a special... Big box package. This is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, initial reaction. What is this? Well, I'm not mad at it. Uh, <laughs> that's cool, I guess. You know, it's a uh, purple. Why does he have purple effects and not black? That is a pretty sick likeness though. Let's, see. Let's open the box. Oh. Hey there, hi there. Oh there. That's a nice Ben Axe right there. I like it. Whatever. Boiling pot. About to blow the lid from the pressure. Too hot for TV. This needs a little. Oh, we get it? Paint's a little sloppy. Don't really care at all though. <laughs> I didn't even know they had black outline on the gun holsters. It's nice. And it's not really looking like the actor too much, but I don't care, it's still a cool face. And it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna keep him helmeted up. But yeah, free Black Ranger upgrade. I ain't mad at it. And the last thing in here, oh my God. I thought it was just gonna, okay. Wow, <laughs> mistake. I wonder why he would come with this hand also. This is like a flute playing hand. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Nice. Yep. Uh, whatever. It's the exact same accessories that come with Tommy. That's a sweet ass helmet. Yep. I got a thing about helmets and masks. Uh, any and all are pretty awesome. It's the main reason why I buy weird kind of figures like uh, Shark Boy. You really won't be able to see the detail, but the gray is off in the teeth and so it makes it look like he's got a grill and that shit's dope purple cool i'll be able to use these for probably psylocke or something like that who knows something cool we'll make it happen other than that though it's the exact same stuff that came with tommy so i'm not going to go through all that but yeah uh, i guess that was it so thank you hasbro i'm glad you didn't send me a figure that i didn't need at all rita would have been cool or the minotaur but i'm not going to be picky anything you wanted to send me to replace this or make up for it or you know whatever Thank you. So shout out to Hasbro for getting back to me real quick. I mean, this didn't take long at all. They sent it out in like three days. So yeah, shout out in the comments below. What are, what are your thoughts? Is this a worthy makeup for three different greens on a Green Ranger? I don't know. I'm fine with them. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Until next time. Y'all take it easy. I'm out this thing. All right, and there's one thing that I want to say real fast. Uh, in terms of your articulation in your neck, this is supposed to be some upgraded stuff. Okay, when you go forward all the way, you see this? This is all you got.
you can't put your head up any farther than that. It doesn't look really good and natural, right? Okay, hear me out. This is the perfect model. You can go down the whole way, and look at this. Forward crunch the entire way, and look how much you can get. Boom. Bent over and forward looking the whole way. Okay. Do you want to know the difference between these two figures next? Let me show you. Black Ranger has this. It's just a simple swivel, little bitty dumbbells or whatever you call them. This is what you have to do, Hasbro. This, give us this thing. Give us this, give us the rocker. The double ball is good, but when you have this rocker that you just took off G.I. Joe's for some reason, it's what you want for the best articulation in your neck system. It's just bothersome. I don't know if anybody else gets affected by stuff like this, but I just want to be able to get the most articulation out of it. And it's like you had this. You had this, Hasbro, and then you took it away. Every line you touch, Hasbro, should have this on there. This should be the standard neck going forward with every single figure. Just my opinion, man. I would definitely be able to have more fun with a neck like this. Just saying. <laughs>